ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the analysis of Yuleno TV I hope you well from whatever you're watching this channel I want to take you to an ongoing legal battle between a petitioner and Adani so what is so interesting is that Adani seems to be realizing that based on some questions which have been asked in the Senate committee, especially coming from Okio Tata and Senator Unyonka, asking the government officials to come out clear on how Adani learned about that acquisition of JKA. To see Adani fighting this way, this can only mean that Adani has seen that this is a deal that it has to secure at all costs. So I have a leaked audio of this ongoing court battle between Adani and uh, some Kenyan uh, uh, groups that are seeking to block this deal uh, by Adani. This group seems to be winning. And Adani has realized that this group is winning, so it has decided to fight back. So before you get further on this analysis, please like this video. so important if you like this video. I am so grateful for everyone who has been liking our videos. I don't take that for granted. Subscribe to our channel if you have not subscribed before. And to existing subscribers, thank you so much for your support. Just like I said, Adani has realized that this deal might slip from their hands. And because of that reason, Adani has realized that the best thing to do is to fight back. Now, as to how they got wind of this deal, Adani claims that they developed an interest in investing and improving JKIA following media reports on the poor status of the airport and lodged the privately initiated proposal with the Kenyan Airport Authority on March 1st, 2024. That is the time they shown interest and lodged uh, PPI, I mean number P, uh, PIP, rather PIP, privately initiated proposal with the KA that it wanted to, you know, uh, build a new JKI for Kenya, and also uh, based on its uh, expertise, make JKI a world-class airport. So this is some of the things which Adan is saying could have been the reasons why they found themselves showing interest into this matter but the manner in which adani seems to be fighting is what is uh, actually making me wonder the most because how comes adani is fighting this much so let me first of all take you to uh, this response from adani let me take you to this leaked audio first there's this leaked audio sure i told you about that was shared Maybe it's good if you listen to what was said regarding this matter. Yes, poor status through Kenyan media. Adani Group learnt of the deteriorating condition of the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, JKI, through Kenyan media and new information has emerged. In a reply affidavit to a petition filed by Davis Malam, a local and authorized signatory of Adani Airport Holdings Limited, explained that several articles, both print and online, published by media outlets highlighted the poor state of Shia, East Africa's largest airport. This included a poor state of the airport's lavatories, a lack of clean water, congested waiting bays, consistent power failures, a failing backup generator in the event of power outages, poor workmanship, and the airport's inability to handle constantly increasing traffic. The Indian conglomerate was responding to questions about how it learned of the government's plans to refurbish the airport and submitted a privately initiated proposal, PIP, before the bid was publicly advertised. The respondents also noted several news articles in 2019 and 2020 regarding constant protests and demonstrations by workers from various departments at here lamenting the poor working environment, infrastructure, and remuneration, Putney stated. The above articles are just but a few of the several news articles that were spread across the world regarding the poor infrastructure at Shkia and called for the urgent need to improve the status of Shkia to a world-class airport. The articles are available online. Given its interest in the aviation sector, Adani sought to invest in Shkia's improvement, submitting a proposal on March 1, 2024, to the Kenya Airports Authority, KAA. 
According to Adani, they provided all the required pre-approval documents including tax compliance documents, which are currently in review. I confirmed that the project is still at the review and due diligence stage, and the affirmance by the applicants that the JKA airport has since been leased for 30 years is premature and is an outright misrepresentation of facts, but me added. The Indian company asked the courts to dismiss Malam's petition, arguing that the PPP Petition Committee, established under Section 75 of the PPP Act, has the authority to hear any dispute from a PIP. Further, Adani argued that the petitioner failed to exhaust the dispute resolution mechanisms before heading to... Very well, ladies and gentlemen. Based on that leaked audio, I believe you now have some, some clue of, of, of what's going to happen. What you've learned is that Adani is fighting back. You know? There is something I, I failed to mention in a previous analysis. We were talking about Okio Mtata. You see, when Okio Mtata was uh, invited to Spice FM for an interview regarding the statements he made during a Senate committee on this Adani issue. Okio Mtata said that uh, he was wondering because Adani is, is now going to look for a loan to be able to finance this project. Whereas the first, the first uh, assurity of anybody who is supposed to be given this kind of project is a, a kind of person who has the financial muscle to do it. But based on a statement from Adani, it's as if they have to secure a loan. So if they have to secure a loan, it simply means that Adani might use JKIA as collateral. Is that the case? I think that is going to be the case. It's like you're taking a loan, uh, a secured loan somewhere, and then you have to deposit something as a guarantee. So most likely, based on what I'm seeing, if uh, Adani is going to take a loan, then most likely Adani is going to use JKIA as a collateral to secure that loan, a loan that they, they'll use on JKIA to improve JKIA. So what is going to happen is that once that loan has been paid off all, using JKIA money that shall have been collected, Adani will benefit thereafter as shareholder. That is something that uh, I think uh, Chirchir failed to mention, but it's something that has been talked about quite some time, that Adani is going to get some share out of uh, this whole thing after they are done with this uh, JKIA issue. But, and by the way, we're talking about 30 years, by the way, don't forget, <laughs> the bottom line here is that that is, they are going to run this JKIA airport for 30 years. That means one will get employed until they retire. But they are running the employer, employer. So most likely there's a generation that will be only managed by Adani. So I think that is what is not making people comfortable with this deal. And uh, that is why Adani sees this deal as one of the best deals according to uh, what I've seen. And uh, they are fighting back. They are in courts and they are opposing this uh, matter that has been taken to high court. It's going to be on 8th of uh, October. So they contested that. They are saying that they would rather it be handled by the PPP Petitions Committee uh, so that uh, this matter be expedited. You know, court there's, a court, there's a long process when it comes to court issues. So even most likely, Ruto will finish his whole term. And this, this issue of Adani is still in court. So I think this is what they are not uh, ready for. But court, I think, but it's the best to have this issue addressed in court so that legal minds can challenge this issue. And then we see where there's a mistake and probably find a way of stopping Adani from acquiring the JKA airport. I mean, that is, it. That is the only option left. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to raise my case here. What do you think about this latest development coming from Adani with the legal battle here? Adani is fighting back, told you. From this statement, Adani is fighting back. And uh, let's just wait. It's just a matter of time before everything unfolds or before everything is in the right place. So perhaps if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, take one second and subscribe. Like this video. Until you catch up again, stay safe and stay blessed.